Are creative jobs in danger because of the new rise of AI? I want to find it out and let's make a full YouTube video only using AI. So we're gonna need three things. We're gonna make a text with AI, we're gonna need video from AI, and we want audio from AI as well. The first part that we need to do is the text part. So we need to create a title, a description, and also a script. In front of me, I have Write Sonic. It's a tool in which you can really create a lot of things just by giving a description or a title, or just some keywords. We are gonna start with a description. And here it asks for a video title and some keywords. Should creatives be scared of their jobs because of AI? For the keywords, yeah, we just type something like AI, creative jobs. So let's generate and see what it comes up with. So as you can see, we got three different kinds of descriptions, each with different amount of words. So I really like the second one. It's the longest one and it's pretty scary. So now we have the description. With that, we can create a title. Here it asks for the video description and the search term. So we can just use the description that we just created. Paste it here. And we need a search term, AI content creative. And here in this one, you can actually use a tone of voice. We're gonna use the creative tone of voice since we are gonna make a creative video. Again, English and premium, and let's see what it comes up with. So it just generated 11 different titles with different amount of words. So they're all good. I'm gonna pick a couple ones. After doing it again, I got 12 different titles and I like these a bit more. And as you can see already, like it is so easy to create this content, create this text, create these descriptions. You just have to give a bit of information and you get a lot of feedback back. So this is quite scary for the creative industry, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't create it all together yet, but you really get the basics very quite easy. And so we have the title, we have the description. Then the next part is to create the script. And we're going to use a different tool for that one. It's called Rider. Here you have almost the same things as in Ride Sonic. You can have different IDs. You can create a blog section, a brand name, job description video channel description, video ID, it just, you can create so many things here. So we're gonna use the blog section writing. The section topic will be the title that we got from Write Sonic, and we're just gonna add a couple of keywords so we know the video will be really about what we want. So we just got our three for Ryan's for a script. And it's kind of funny, we have two that say that AI is not a threat to creative jobs. And we have one script that says that AI is a danger to the creative jobs. What is also nice of this is that you can select a couple sentences that you don't like and rewrite it or rephrase it so you have it exactly how you like it. We're just going to take the script of the AI taking over the creative jobs and see how it sounds when we're going to add it to the audio. So I copied that one and then we're done with step one. We have all the text. Now the next step is to create audio for the video. So this tool is called Well Set Labs and it can create a voice overview very easily. So what we're gonna do is grab the script that we created and we're gonna put it in here and see what it comes up with. We can select between many, many different uh, voiceovers. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Creative life, your creative life. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. So I'm gonna go with Fiona H. I always like the UK accent, it sounds uh, very professional. So what you see here now is the person that we selected and we added our script. So now we just press create and see what comes out of it. Creative jobs are in danger because of AI. Creative jobs are one of the most threatened by AI. So scary to hear what she is saying and read it, but nothing is done for real. It's all done by AI. Okay, so we got the script, we got all the text, and we got the voiceover. Now the next thing that we want is a video to actually put on the YouTube video. For this we're gonna use Lumen5, and it's quite easy, you just press new video. And here you can choose a different template that will be used through the whole video. So you can see it's a mix of stock video and of different animations. I like the geek one, it seems quite professional and a bit AI. I'm just gonna use this template. I can choose the format 16 by nine for the YouTube video. So what we do here is just add the script from the video and it will automatically create the whole video, which is crazy. So we added our script. Now just press convert to video. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. And this style looks already really good. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't make this kind of videos if I even tried very hard. So this is a very nice style. You just have to make it on the right length so the voiceover matches with the text on the image. 
The last thing that we maybe want is uh, some music below the video, so something to go under the voiceover. And of course, there's a tool for that as well. So this tool is called Eva, and it is the same as all the other tools that you can just create something. And in this case, you can create literally music. And here you can choose between the profiles. So for the YouTube video, I would like to have a bit of a lo-fi music below it just to keep it calm and nice. So let's see what they have. I'm gonna look for lo-fi. I like the hip hop, so we're just gonna press create and see what happens. So you can even select uh, a, a key if you know a lot about the music and you know which exact key you want. And you can select the number of compositions. I'm just gonna make three right now. As you can see, I already created three on the before, but you just got three randomly created AI musics, and that's pretty insane, just by the press of a button. I like this one, so I'm just gonna download it and uh, put it below the video and see what we come up with. Creative jobs are in danger because of AI. AI is changing the way we work and think about work. It is altering how we communicate, how we produce content, what value means, and what skill sets are needed to succeed in the workplace. There are some people who believe that AI will take over jobs that have always been considered safe from automation like doctors, lawyers, teachers, and even journalists. They think that AI will replace human creativity as well as emotional intelligence with analytical skill sets like data processing and pattern recognition.